Hey guys, and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a Percy Jackson Camp Half Blood necklace. So you're going to be given some beads that look like this, four of them. So the first step is going to be to paint the four beads blue, gray, white, and black. You're also going to be given the stick and some extra cups so that once once you finish paint these, you can put them on the stick like so and let them dry like that. And then once they're dry, you can start putting the symbols on it. All right. So the first bead is from the first book, Lightning Thief. It's a black bead with like a bluish greenish trident. So to do the symbol, you're going to get this template, you're going to flip it over and shade it with graphite. All right, once you do that, you can put the symbol against the bead. And when you trace the symbol, it's gonna end up on the bead. All right, so let's do that. All right, and as you can see, the symbol has been transcribed onto the beads. So now we're gonna do that for all the beads. All right, now I've traced all the symbols onto the wooden beads. So once you do that, now it's time to paint it. All right, this is what it looks like when the first one has been painted on. And now let's continue painting the rest. All right, now that that is painted, I think I'm gonna outline it in black so it can pop more. All right, and I also just painted this one and now I'm gonna outline it in black. All right, now I've outlined the Empire State Building 
And as you know, the names of the campers who fell in the Battle of Manhattan is in ancient Greek um, around the thing. But since I can't actually do ancient Greek, I'm just going to get some gold and just put little dots around it to represent names that would be in Greek if I was good at painting Greek letters. Alright, so these are my beads all done. And I'm just going to add a couple knickknacks to my necklace to make it pop. You don't have to do this, but I decided I want to. Alright, so here I go. So technically the first bead would be the black bead with the trident on it from the first book. And then the next one would be the golden fleece hanging from the tree from book two. And then there's no bead for book three because it happened the same time as book two. But in book four is the maze. And then the final book is the Empire State Building. Alright, and once it's done, it looks something like this. So, you know, first book, second book, nothing for the third book, and then the fourth one, and the fifth book. And then when you're ready, you can just tie the ends into a knot and make a necklace. Alright, and this is how to make a Percy Jackson camp necklace. Thank you.